I used to hear shooting like every Saturday night on the weekend. And then when I wake up on Sunday morning, they had the area taped off. You see a whole bunch of people congregating and they start getting loud and pushy and aggressive movements. You go the other way or you watch from a distance because you never know what's going to happen next. Yeah, I live from work to home. I, you don't never see me hanging outside in front of my building or sitting or taking a fresh air during the summer. This neighborhood is not safe. Dorchester, Roxbury, and Mattapan are home to some of Boston's most dangerous streets. Blue Hill Avenue is Boston's bloodiest street, with 19 murders in the last decade and only five arrests. Another hotspot is a group of streets known as H Block in Roxbury. Residents say crime is partially a cultural issue. The culture has changed. Like, it's cool to shoot somebody. How many fights are recorded and everybody's like, oh, that's something to think. But when somebody graduates, you don't get no comments, you don't see nothing. Cops show up, they're around, like it's usually after something happened. They want to do their job, they want to catch people, and then they want to not be looked at as an enemy. But when they come out here, it's automatically, oh, they're the enemy, they're hostile, we're hostile, and nothing gets done. I feel like there should be more police out here patrolling to, you know, try to prevent armed crimes from happening. I call the cops and they take forever to come, and when they come, there's the situation already was solved, everyone has left, you know, so. Reverend Ernest Green lives near Harvard Street in Mattapan. It's had seven murders in the last decade, but he said things are turning around. I don't see too much of bad stuff in this neighborhood. Partying all night, drinking, loud talking, I mean, just all kind of devastating I had to deal with in the neighborhood. And from drug houses, rooming houses, to families living in the house, and that's a blessing. With the Boston Herald, Prisca Point du Jour.